Hi, I'm Bill Wallace, owner of Wallace Marine Services Incorporated. My company maintains yachts and I also repair yachts. I spend my days in the engine room like this doing whatever needs to be done. I'm constantly using the wet vac and I'm constantly having to carry it out of a small engine room door and pump, dump it out. So I wanted a wet vac that had a pump inside of it. So I invented the Willy vac. Like vacuuming out coolant out of a block heater, um, clean it, helping clean out the air conditioned units, sea strainers, you name it. I thought if I could pump it out as fast as I could vacuum it in, then they would open up a whole host of different things that, a vac that my vacuum system could do. So what I've done is built a mock-up of a hull to demonstrate the different components of the Willy Vac and what they do. This is the vacuum motor that starts the water moving. This makes the vacuum, puts this unit under vacuum. The air comes in here, comes out here. If I don't have air coming in the bottom, meaning if we're drawing in only water, then a little bit of air comes through right here to keep the motor cool. This is the main sump assembly. This houses the strainer basket, also houses the pump and the diverter valve. This is the bilge pickup assembly. This is attached permanently into the, the boat with a, with a hose going down into the lowest part of the bilge. Whenever it, it's not being used as a vacuum system, it'll work like a bilge pump or a crash pump. You plug your hose into this, you have your unit on automatic. We'll have a water sensor up underneath the engine room bilge pump that will turn on this unit and vacuum out the water. Now, one benefit that we have here is because I'm vacuuming the water, I can get all of the water out. This is the remote on-off switch. This is 12 volt that runs my pump assembly and my vacuum motor. So what just happened was we had the unit on automatic, had our hose plugged into our receptacle, we sprayed some water in. When the water sensor up underneath this plate felt the water, turned the unit on automatically, it vacuumed it up, and it pumped it out. This hose just represents basically water going overboard, so I can recirculate it here. This is a pencil zinc. Everybody knows what one of these are. Everybody knows it, that when you pull this out, salt water comes out of the motor. So what I have or with the Willy Vac, because we don't have to worry about how much water comes out, as we pull this zinc out, we can vacuum the salt water out of the motor and pump it overboard as it comes out. So it's not dripping all over the motor and everything else. Okay, this is a block heater off of 1100 man. We go to need to change these quite often. Whenever we change this, we have to pull out about 15 gallons of coolant. So with the Willy Vac, you can vacuum this coolant out, turn a valve, and put it into a bucket. So you can reuse that antifreeze. So what we're gonna do is turn this valve. Now we're gonna pump this water out. This is approximately 20 gallons of water, okay? The position of the diverter valve determines whether the water is 
sent overboard or if it's sent into a bucket. If it's clean water, then we'll send it overboard. If it's something that we don't want to send overboard, we turn this valve and we send it into a bucket. So when you have a need to vacuum up antifreeze, you're going to want to clean this machine out so that you can reclaim the antifreeze and use it. So that's what this drain is for, for, for cleaning it out. So. So it holds just, just under a gallon. So a gallon Ziploc bag is a pretty nice thing to, to be able to catch the water that sits in the unit and the sediment that's on the bottom. So once we catch that water, we put the plug back in, dis discharge the nasty water. Okay, so once you've drained out the initial part, you can open this back up. We want to rinse it out a little bit. So we'll hold this in place. We'll take our water hose, just hose it right in here. That will help us get the remainder of the little pieces of debris out. Once, we, once we're done, we'll put our plug back in. Catch our water. Now we are ready to vacuum antifreeze. So as I've as I pump water in, you'll notice that the vacuum motor will come on and come off. That's how I regulate the water coming into the unit and going out. I don't vacuum it in any faster than I can pump it out. So now what I'd like to do is run it. Exhaust, we put an elbow on this or a, and a hose to send over to the engine air box. So whatever little bit of water does come out of this exhaust gets dumped into the air box so it's not a problem. You'll notice the blue light inside the unit. It has two functions. One is cool. The other function is whenever the captain turns off the engine room lights at night, more than likely he's going to be able to see a blue glow coming from the top of this unit. That tells the captain that the unit's on standby and it's ready to, to turn on and work like a bilge pump. This is the trainer basket. This is what catches your debris. If it can go through this basket, it can go through the pump. Okay, let's say we drop something like this underneath the engines and we can't reach them. So we'll use the wheelie back to vacuum them out. Here they are.